G'day Air Signs, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. We're going to do What Are They Hiding Behind the Mask? The reading I've been talking about. So, um, this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. Thank you all for your likes, share, subscribes, etc. Decks will be listed below in the description box and I'm doing all three signs so they will be time stamped in the description box below as well. So, let's go. G'day Gemini, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under gonna do what are they hiding behind the mask Let's find out what are they not telling you hmm it's a general reading in case you didn't watch the intro <laughs> it's only a couple of seconds I hope you did <laughs> yeah so let's find out all right no more mucking let's go what are they hiding behind the mask from Gemini Ooh, something's ending, something an ending. Give me six cards. What are they hiding from Gemini behind the mask? There's one. Two. Four more. Come on, you can tell us. What are they hiding? Three more. Okay, that's one. And there's two. One more. Okay, and there we go. So, what are they hiding? Let's see. Oh, happiness. I am aware that being happy means I am on the right path. Hmm, some sort of happiness they're not telling you about. Let's see. Oh, humour. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Something they find funny. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So they want peace with something or they've found peace with something. Oh, failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Ooh. Some sort of failure they don't want you to know about. Gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. Hmm. Hiding their gratitude for something. Ooh, and fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So there's some sort of fear they're hiding here as well. <clears throat> surrender. I can release the need to control. So there's something they need to surrender that they're not telling you about. Alright, well, let's get some clarifiers on these and see what it is they're hiding. Okay, we'll do. Hmm, working on something. Could be something to do with work. Eight of Pentacles. Something they're working on that they don't want you to know about. They're hiding from you. Hmm, it could be a love offer. A Knight of Cups. Water energy, actions of love towards you. My Kiefer Sutherland from Lost Boys card. <laughs> All right. Why is happiness here for what they're hiding from Gemini? What's this happiness that they're hiding? Ooh. Okay. We have the King of Cups, water energy, the Ace of Swords. The Death card, the Star, and the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. So, hiding this happiness that they have a lot of love that they want to give, but they're not showing it. They want to speak the truth about all this love, but they're worried about an ending, or this could, they're worried that, well, could be that the, if they speak this truth, it will transform. Into a wish fulfillment of balance, give and take. Ooh. You are their happiness. They have a lot of love for you. They want to tell you. And want this to transform into that wish fulfillment of being balance, give and take between you two. You showing your love too. That's the happiness that they're hiding. Wow. King of Pentacles. Earth energy. Stability. 
intelligence and mastering the um, element of stability of the pentacles. Grounded, stable, commitment. That's, that would be their happiness that they're hiding. Is that they want this commitment with you. Yeah, it's a secret with the moon. Keeping it a secret. Ooh, that's all right. Yeah, it's a big burden for them though, Ten of Wands. Why is humour here for what they're hiding behind the mask from Gemini? What's this humour that they're hiding? Ooh, Queen of Cups. Oh, they've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups now. So it's a, it's a match. Water energy. Best love in the deck. Mind you, she's pouring it back into the river. Hmm. <sighs> Focus on the lighter side of life. With humour. I think it's funny that maybe that you love them. <laughs> oh, look, Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. I'm getting that, that it just makes them so happy that they just laugh. I don't think they find, think it's funny. I think it, they just... Or else they, it just makes them giggle, I'm hearing. Just makes them giggle that, you know, that they could get this awesome love and happily ever after with you. Maybe they think it's a joke. <laughs> it's a cruel joke that, you know, that they should think this. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy again. Earth and Water twice with the court cards. Um... Stable, stable action here. Happiness and humour. Like, you laugh when you're happy and you laugh at humour. So, could be that they think they're kidding themselves that you would feel that way too. Stop. Mm. King of Wands, fire energy, mastering their pack, their actions of passion. Hmm. All right, tell me about peace. What's this peace that they're hiding from Gemini? Eight of Pentacles is back again. Working on having peace in their life. Working hard towards some sort of peace and s tranquility. Ooh, and the moon doing it in secret. Maybe they like to work in peace, in secret, without anybody else around. They find it peaceful at work. Knight of Cups, Water Energy again. My Kiefer Sutherland from Lost Boys card. Mm, taking actions of love. Peacefully working away, secretly wanting to offer this love. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Working on their peace of mind in secret. Hmm, it's an interesting read. Well, patience with temperance here. Being very patient. Working on this in secret. Mm. Tell me about failure. What's this failure that they're hiding or they're keeping a secret from behind the mask from Gemini? Why is failure here? What's this failure card? Wow. Ooh. Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Hierophant. Now we saw the King of Wands before, so that's a, a pair. We've got the King and Queen of Cups on the table. It's a pair. They definitely see you as a pair. 
failure. I think they're worried that the um, love and passion isn't going to be enough to get a commitment here with you. They, uh, they're, they're whole, yeah, they're afraid. Perhaps they've failed in another commitment, in another relationship with someone, because this can be the other person. She's not really a committing type. Queen of Wands, it's all about passion, love of passion. Um, perhaps they failed in another commitment, they don't want you to know about that. The sun. They see clearly exactly what they did wrong, why it failed. Um, Nine of Pentacles, single, stable, independent. <clears throat> Probably could because they acted too independent, maybe. They know they failed, or the other person was too independent. Whereas here they want to, they know happiness comes with being committed to someone not all about your own stability so they realize the failure they see very clearly with the sun why that commitment didn't work because it was all about passion but they don't want you to know and they're keeping that quiet yeah because it was yeah there were possibly other other options that person had or it was um, just confusion and it was an illusion Tell me about gratitude. Why is gratitude here for what they're hiding from Gemini? Okay. Knight of Wands. Fire energy. Actions of passion and passionate action. Very grateful for the actions that they've taken. Nine of Wands. Yeah. The Wounded Warrior. Oh, are very guarded and tired. Oh, and then we've got the Devil here. Yeah, okay. So they're grateful that they got away. They took the action from something that was draining them and making them feel exhausted. Um, that was toxic. They're grateful they got away from that got away from that toxic relationship that was possibly a player the player taught them how to <clears throat> a harsh lesson possibly yeah there was cheating lying still in here well they snuck away they're grateful they're out of that relationship tell me about fear what's this fear that they're hiding from Gemini behind the mask Okay, two cards. Oh, three of swords, yeah. And the seven of cups, yeah. They've got a big fear that they're going to get their heart broken again, that they're going to tr be treated like an option, that it's all going to be confusion and illusion, that they're just going to be an option. They don't want to be an option on the shelf. And they don't want to get their heart broken. They've got a lot of fear about that. Yeah, because it's happened in the past. Six of Cups. And the Page of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, they offered love to someone that did that hurt them. Now under the deck we have Surrender and the Page of Cups. So they're, maybe they're going to they're hiding the fact they need to surrender and come and offer this love to you with the Page of Cups. Speak of love. Oh, I've got a little glimpse of a song there, but it's gone. Some, a line in a song that says speak of love, but yeah, it's gone. All right. Let's find out some extra. Oh, wedding rings. They want commitment here. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. This is what they want. We saw that at the start here. And the, the Ten of Cups. All right. Give us three, at least three more cards. What else can you tell us about what they're hiding from Gemini? Mm. 
mini set too. We'll get one more. At least one more, please. Are they hiding from... Thank you. Alright, I want it that way. Let's turn that one over. <laughs> so we've got I like you. They definitely like you. I think they more than like you. Want this romance to bloom. Coffee cup, want to meet and converse. Might be just starting out as friends. Sunglasses, they're watching you. Mirror, mirroring each other. I think these past relationships have reflected their wounds. They don't want to show that. Looking at their self-image here. Not enough, worried that they're not going to be enough. That they could self-sabotage this relationship. It's what they're worried about, that failure again. And hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic. Options, not showing hand gambling. Uh, they will take a chance, but they're hiding the fact that they do want to take a chance on you. I'm hearing that Abba song, just that the guy's bit, that took a chance, took a chance, took a, took a chance, chance. <laughs> But not today. Not dealing her. Avoiding a conversation call person boundary still angry. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're grateful for getting out of that situation, but they're still focused on the f fear and the failure that came from that. Yeah. But they want to come in and offer you something. Yeah, that you are their happiness, but they're just hiding it. They, and we've got under the deck surrender, page of cups, and not today. So they do want to surrender and open up enough of that love, but it's just not going to be today. And that's what they're hiding. Mmm, Gemini. Ooh. Well, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I am going to be doing the normal... Love energy coming towards you, the long readings, they will be coming out in a couple of days, so keep an eye out. Alright, well all the best, good luck, and I'll catch you later. G'day Libra, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. So we're going to do the, uh, what are they hiding behind the mask, in case you didn't watch the intro. It's a general reading, all that stuff, listed below, this is the time, no, well, listed below is the, um, decks I'm using, and... Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for like, sharing, subscribing. And if you haven't yet, please do. All right, let's go. What are they hiding from Libra? Behind the mask. Ooh, self-esteem. Hmm, self-esteem might not be that good. All right, let's go. Give me six cards. What are they hiding from Libra? Behind the mask. Give me six cards, please. What are they hiding behind the mask from Libra? Come on. Okay, that's good. We got one, two, three. Okay, we need three more, please. Oh, that's one. Oh, put that on top there. And I get in the wrong order. There we go. Two and three. All right, so they have relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Ooh, so they've got a relationship they're not telling you about. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Ooh, some sort of seeing somebody else's side. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Ooh. Something they're proud of. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Mm, some sort of judgment call that they've made. Self-esteem is back again. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So something with their self-esteem. And fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Wow. Hiding some sort of fear here. What's at the bottom? Loneliness. Ooh, I know that I am never alone. So there's loneliness here. Hiding the fact that they feel really lonely. Ooh. That's no good. Okay. Ooh, nine 
Queen of Wands, they're feeling like a wounded warrior, extremely tired. Coming to the end, but haven't given up yet. Alright. Tell me about those relationships here for what they're hiding from Libra. Behind the mask. Why are they cis relationships that they're hiding from Libra? Ooh, the hermit. Keeping to themselves, going within. <coughs> the fact that they've gone within to think a lot about this relationship. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. Doing a lot of soul search, you're reviewing all their relationships from the past, reviewing the relationship with you. Sorry, I need to sip a drink there. Mmm, what's at the bottom? Wow, the lovers, yeah. They see the you as a divine counterpart here with the lovers. Yeah, got to go within and have a really good think about this relationship. Between you two. Hiding the fact that they're doing that doing some self-work for this relationship. Six of Pentacles, wanting it to be balanced, give and take. Hmm. Oh, what's that? The Knight of Swords, air energy. Wanting to charge in with a truth, but they're not doing that yet. Wanting to be able to come in truthfully, I'm hearing. So they're having a really good think about it. Yeah, that's why they're holding back their love. King of Cups. Not showing their emotions. They have a lot of emotions, but they're not showing them. What is empathy here? It's this empathy that they're hiding from Libra behind the mask. Okay. Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, fire energy. So um, they're seeing it from both sides here, but they are holding back from showing that love and passion here. Yeah, as much as they feel that you want this love and passion, um, they do see it from your side, but they are holding back this love and passion because they're still reviewing the relationship here. They know that you want this love and passion, but they're holding back from doing that, even though they know that's what you want. I think they want to see if there's something more here. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're standing their ground on this. No, yeah, they know how you feel, but... Yeah, they're holding back from that. That's what they're hiding it. Hiding the fact that they are really trying really hard to hold back. Four of Cups. They don't want to miss the opportunity with you, but they don't want the offer if it is just about passion. Passionate love making or whatever. Passionate love. And it needs to be more. So, yeah, they... They're trying to hide the fact that they know that you want passionate love here, but they're standing their ground and they're hiding the fact that they know what you want. <laughs> yeah, they're still working on themselves here, Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about pride. What's this pride that they're hiding from Libra? Hiding pride behind a mask from Libra. Ooh, don't want to tell me. Come on, talk to me. Oh, okay. Eight of Pentacles again. That work, they're very proud of the work that they're doing. They're very proud of the work that they've done on themselves. Proud of themselves for the work they're doing. They're not telling you about it though. Mm. 
not telling, keeping it to themselves, not telling you how proud they are of their work. Eight of Wands, back and forth communication, their, their work on communication, their work on travel. Ah, Five of Swords, yeah, they don't want to talk about how proud they feel of their work because they're worried that someone will sabotage it. So that's why they don't talk about it. Worried it'll get sabotaged. So they keep their pride to themselves about how well they've done with their work and how far they've gone, as in travel traveled along that road of that work that they've done mm -hmm. what was that i think that was the king of pentacles yeah good on them yeah they've worked on their healing and their wish fulfillment good on them they're not going to let anybody sabotage that so they're keeping that to themselves tell me about judgment what's this judgment that they're keeping secret from libra wow Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. Wow. Happily ever after and stability. Stepping through into something that's stable here. They've made a judgment call here that they want this happily ever after and stability with you, but they haven't told you yet. <coughs> Why? Because they don't want to sabotage it. Five of Swords. Also, they know what they want. It's what they want, but is it what you want? So they don't want to play head games here. But mainly I'm getting they don't want to sabotage it. They're worried they're going to sabotage this. That's why they're going in and doing that soul searching and doing some self work on relationships because they've made their choice that they do want this with you. Could be a reconciliation after they sabotaged it. But Six of Wands, they want this to be successful. They want this to be successful. They have made that, you know, maybe they want to reconcile. So they've gone into think within to think about the relationship. They have do see it from your side, but they're um, they got to stand up for themselves here. Very proud of all the self work that they've done here. Made that judgment call. Yep, this is good. Yeah, trying to manifest you in with the magician. Tell me about self esteem. Why are they hiding self esteem from Libra behind a mask? Ooh. Ace of Cups, they want a new beginning in love with you. This cup of love, that, well, it's also self-love. Ace of Cups, it's a singular card. Self-love, filling, filled up their own cup. Feeling confident within themselves. Having enough for themselves in love and the overflow to share with someone else. Three of Wands waiting for the ships to come in yeah so they've built up their self-esteem they're not telling you how much better they're doing they're just waiting they don't want to they don't want you to know that, that they're waiting now that they're more confident that they're waiting because you might just walk away you you walked away or they might walk away someone walked away yeah, someone walked away and it wrecked their self-esteem. But I think walking away, they help them to build their self-esteem again. Yeah, because they were stuck before with the hangman. Yeah, they were definitely in stuck energy. So they needed to walk away to get themselves unstuck. Do that self-work. To come back healthier in a relationship make the right choices wow hmm three of swords yeah because of heart yeah they don't want heartbreak anymore tell me about fear why is fear something that what's this fear they're hiding from libra behind a mask what's this fear oh, okay 
I think you were actually first before they all flipped. So the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, stable, grounded, committed, mastering that element of stability. The Knight of Swords, Air Energy, actions of truth and Two of saw two of wands, sorry, waiting um at a crossroads and the magician. So they do have a fear maybe that you're already committed to somebody else. That you'll just cut them out of the, your, their life. That they'll be left stranded at the crossroads. Mm, having to manifest in some all new beginnings. They want this, yeah, they're afraid. They want commitment and they want to speak that truth, but they're at a crossroads here on how to manifest all this new beginning because they've got a fear here that maybe you're not interested. Justice, that's your card, Libra. Justice. They're afraid of what you're going to say. Whether they can balance this out with you. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, yeah, but they know they've got to speak that truth. And it is a single card, uh, as in the individual of one, knowing that truth. Loneliness is at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Swords. That The truth is they're lonely. Or seeing that truth in why they had to be alone. Because it says I know that I am never alone. Yeah. Just because you're alone doesn't mean you're lonely. So I think they've seen the truth in that time they've spent alone. Okay. Let's get a few more cards. The Chaser. Chaser in a fear of... Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. I think that's what they had. A fear of abandonment. That's why they have that loneliness. Alright, give me at least three cards. What else can you tell us about what they're hiding from Libra? Can expand or confirm? Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So they've got healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-care, self-love, being happier. Yeah. This is what you don't know. This is what they've been hiding from you. That they've they've done that self work. It's all over this reading here. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. They've risen from the ashes here, mate. Wow, they've done a lot of self work here. And heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, they, I mean, they still feel that heartbreak. They're still very sad about the fact that you two have separated, if that's the case. Um, but they've made some really healthy choices here and risen from, the, like, the phoenix. And I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. So, yeah, they've seen the truth about this loneliness. One, yeah, they like you. The truth is, they like you. It's they want this romance to bloom. Well, it could be the fact that they've seen the truth about why they needed to be alone, and now they want to get back out there and meet someone. Hmm. If it's you, I don't know. I could be, but they have a fear that you're already committed to someone else and cut them out. I'll have to manifest all new beginnings. But they've done a lot of self-work here. This is awesome, Libra. All right, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, yes, I will be doing the um, normal Love Energy readings, the long one. And they'll be coming out in a few days, so keep an eye out for that. All right, all the best. Take care. I'll catch you later. G'day Aquarius, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. So we're going to do what are they hiding behind the mask. If you didn't check out the introduction <laughs> on this video, it's a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest, all that good stuff. Thank you for your views, shares, likes, subscribes. 
and the decks listed will be listed below but I'm sure you've seen that because you found the timestamp all right let's go what are they hiding from Aquarius Ooh, acceptance they've had to accept something I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. Ooh, they're hiding the fact they've had to accept something in their life. Give me six cards. What are they hiding from Aquarius behind the mask? Please, give me six cards. That's one. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh. Okay, that's better. Thank you. All right, one, two, I think that one, and then that one. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One more, please. There it is. Oh, it's that one. All right. Okay, I'll take the one that lands first. So, ooh. They have doubt. I released the need to know all the answers. So they've got doubts about something they're not telling you about. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Mm, some sort of secret friendship. They're not, well, they're not telling you about it. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So there's some sort of grief they're hiding. Let's pull them down a little bit. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So there's something that they're not trusting or needing to trust. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Mm, they're facing some sort of adversity or challenges here. And purpose, I know what I'm here to do. So it's some sort of purpose that they're hiding. Hmm. Growth, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So there's some sort of growth here that they're not telling you about. We'll find out when we get the other decks at the bottom about growth. But we are going to clarify these. Let's see what they're hiding. Oh, the hermit. So they've done some, doing some self work. So doing things on their own here in solitude for themselves. All right. Why is doubt here for what they are hiding behind the mask from Aquarius? Why are they hiding doubt? What's this doubt they're hiding? <laughs> I know I've said it all different ways, haven't I? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Cheating, mind stealing. They got a lot of doubts here about people doing the right thing by them. That's that trust card here too. They doubt. Oh, well, maybe they're hiding the fact that they doubt you're going to cheat, lie, and steal. That you're going to do the right thing. The wrong thing, sorry. They doubt that you're going to do that. Strength card. Well, maybe. They doubt that they're going to do the wrong thing here, but they also doubt that they're going to be strong enough. They have doubts, yeah. To make the right judgment call here. To make a right judgment call. Hmm... Could be lying to themselves or they have a plan because seven of swords cheating lying still and you need a plan they're doubting their plans and, and doubting whether they have the courage and strength to make a right judgment call here when it comes to you hmm. or, or something that they're having doubts about 
lying to themselves, that doubting that this something will grow, because that's the overall energy, that they'll be strong enough to grow something, doubting they have the patience with temperance. All right, tell me about friendship. What's this friendship that they're hiding from Aquarius? Behind a mask. Yes, you do want to come out. Oh, Ten of Swords. They've been stabbed in the back and betrayed, but had a painful ending from a friend. A friend has betrayed them. Oh, a fool and treated them like a fool. Somebody betrayed them and treated them like a fool. A friend. It's not telling you about it though. Two of Swords. They don't know how to feel about it. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to feel. They just feel betrayed here. Some, oh wow, no wonder they're in doubt mode. Doubt they can trust anybody. I keep getting that, they don't trust anybody. Doubting their strength to see who these bad people are. The people that are going to betray them because they're someone who was a friend did it. Now they don't know what to think. Oh. Okay. Tell me about grief. What's this grief that they're hiding from Aquarius? Okay. Justice and the Five of Wands. It's a lot of fighting here, a lot of conflict, the inner conflict as well about how justice was served. Something wasn't done justly. Grieving over the fact of a decision here. Justice through fighting, yeah. Look, they they mm, they doubted that someone was going to steal from them. They thought this friendship was strong, but they were betrayed and treated like a fool. And now they're grieving the fact that something they thought was balanced was all about competition and conflict. It was. Page of Pentacles. There was talk of stability here, but it was all just grieving over the fact that they offered this stability to someone, thinking it was balanced, but it was all just conflict and competition. They thought this was something stable. That it was a friend for life, but... It's Well, grieving over the fact that justice had to be done and they had to pick a fight with this person when they really just wanted this them to talk to them about about stability, you know, have some stability here. Yeah, they had to walk away because it was the right thing to do. Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. All right, tell me about trust. Why is trust here for what they're hiding from Aquarius? Five of Cups, wow, and the King of Wands, yeah. Here their trust has been broken. They've been totally disappointed by somebody that they trusted. Five of Cups, crying over spilt milk, but it's justified here, I think. And King of Wands, fire energy. Mastering your emotions and your actions. 
getting to things that that they're learning to master their emotions and their uh, their um, passions and their actions. Sorry, because of that disappointed that disappointment. Can't speak properly. I don't think they can either. Um, also, I'm getting that they trusted someone that disappointed them that knew exactly what they were doing because this king knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to his actions and passions. Queen of Cups, water energy, the best love in the deck. I'm also getting that they want to trust you, but they're having to control their actions and their passions here because of that disappointment. They don't want to disappoint you. They do have a lot of love. They want to give you this awesome love, but they don't trust themselves. They don't trust anybody at the moment. I think Page of Swords, yeah, they need more information, air energy, before they open up that love. They need to see trust is here before they'll open up that love. Otherwise, yeah, they're not going to be disappointed again. They're going to control, ex control their actions. Yeah, they need more information. They need to know that they can trust you. They're not telling you this, but yeah, they need to know that, you, that they can trust you. Yeah, King of Swords, air energy. Well, this could be you, Aquarius. Um, yeah, they want the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. They need to see this completely clearly that they can trust you. Tell me about adversity. Why are they hiding this from Aquarius, this challenge? Why is it? Thank you. We've got the Knight of Cups, Water Energy, my Kiefer Sutherland from Lost Boys card. The Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. I don't take reversals if you're new here. The challenge is, yeah, this what they're hiding. The challenge is they do want to come in and offer this love to you, Aquarius. They want to go deep into those waters and offer that cup of love. But they're defensive. They're standing their ground here. They're quite, yeah, they're defensive. Because they don't know where this is going to go. They're undecided. It's a challenge. It's challenging them because they're, they're defensive. Because they don't want to be hurt again. They want to know that you, they can be trusted. That you can be trusted. But they also do want to offer this love. So it's a real challenge for them. Because they're in between these two. Going, do I offer love or do I... Stem my ground possibly even turn my back on this because it's too much of a challenge well they don't you know hmm. maybe they're not ready yet Are you, yeah or maybe they're thinking well will you offer this love or will you walk away it's at the bottom knight of pentacles earth energy so this is actions of stability here i think yeah they need to know this is the challenge they want they they need to see these actions of stability here this is what they're hiding the fact that they want this love and stability here but they will walk away if they have to fight for it they they want someone that they can trust Page of Wands, they do want to message you. It's fire energy, those passionate messages, but they're really challenged by this indecision here of whether that, you know, this is what they're hiding. If you're wondering why they're, yeah, being a bit standoffish. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, they're reviewing all this, how they invested in someone that they shouldn't have. Tell me about purpose. What's this purpose that they're hiding from Aquarius? can see why they're hiding it because they don't want you to know that they're going through this purpose the wheel of fortune all oh, nice ace of swords and the ten of pentacles look at that that's beautiful their purpose is for the wheel to turn on all this 
to have truth and clarity and a truthful, stable beginning with you. Long-term stability that leads to something that is long-term stability. They want the, yeah, they want someone who's truthful. The wheel to turn on all this is the purpose for the wheel to turn on all this, for them to get their truth and clarity and have something that is long-term stable. <coughs> yep, and to leave all that other crap out in the cold, five of pentacles. Yep. <coughs> That's what they're trying to do. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords, air energy, this could be you Aquarius. She's very loving as she is a queen, but she holds that sword because it's been in her back. And she, well, you know, that ten of swords, it's one of those swords. No one gets near her heart again unless they come correctly. And this is what they're growing and learning. <coughs> Sorry, people have to come correct to get to their heart. I could take a sip of drink. Mm. Sorry about the slurpy noise. It's the ice that stuffs me up. <laughs> yes, it's hot here. It's very hot. It's summertime here. It's very bloody hot. All right, let's get a couple more cards. All right, to expand or confirm, what are they hiding from Aquarius? Oh, yeah, a karmic relationship. And it doesn't have to be a love karmic relationship. It was a karmic friendship. But they learnt the lessons. Alright, give me three cards at least. What are they hiding from Aquarius, please? Is that one? Yes, that's only one. <coughs> oh, there's two. One more at least, please. Expand or confirm. Thank you. Oh, we got a few. Alright. So they have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So they're trying to move on, possibly spending time with other friends or moving on from those, those friends. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, who stabbed them in the back? And they silly there. Yeah, they felt abandonment from this because they stupidly kept chasing after these people. But they learned a lesson, didn't they? Talking. A weighted message arrives. Conversing more. Maybe they want to talk to you. But soulmates, yeah. They, they want to talk to someone who's a true soulmate. The Phoenix, so want a new phase for Kindle Renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. Yeah, they want this to grow. Something to grow with a soulmate here. And, and like sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, lightning. It's like the tower. Yeah, their purpose is to close out all this crappy energy, rise from the ashes and have a, wow, surprise. Yeah, they, they want to talk to you. They see you as a soulmate, but they've got to rise from these ashes and then, wow, you're in for a shock. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, heartbroken. Yeah, I don't think it was an ex. I think it was, um, you know, we cared very deeply for some for our friends. They were portrayed by a friend. And they're heartbroken. So, yeah, they're growing, but they um, are learning to put that sword up because they've been heartbroken so um, I think once they can heal through that and get through that they'll open up to you more but they're not telling you about any of this yeah a friend stabbed them in the back and and left them for yeah just left them in the crap So when they're ready, they will. They are hiding the fact that they do want to talk to you, see you as a soulmate and want this to grow. But it's going to come like, like fast. <laughs> Big surprise. Transformation. Yeah. They want to transform out of this negative energy first. It's nothing to do with you. 
All right, well, that's your reading, Aquarius. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll be doing the normal long love energy coming towards you reading. Come out in a few days, all right? Also, <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. All right, all the best. Take care. Catch you later.